Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. So we're going to have a look and see what's going on at the time you find this video. A little heads up, some clarity, some advice. And this is for any significant Pisces placements. If you have a lot of activity in Pisces in your chart, this could resonate with you. If you're dealing with the Pisces, this could resonate with you. Just remember to flip the rolls, take what applies, disregard the rest. Oh, Nine of Wands and Ace of Cups. Huh. Something new, big. I don't know with the Nine of Wands, if you don't know how you, sh if you're not sure how you feel about it, or if it's not something that you're open to, or it's something that's finally coming through because you didn't give up on it. Okay, it's an interesting combo. We'll see what else comes out. Um, but yeah, make sure you keep in mind, take what resonates, trust your own guidance. Don't force anything to fit. Feel free to check out any other video on the channel. I managed to do another work focus reading, another love focus reading. Those are posted in their playlists, linked at the end of the video. They were very interesting readings. Very good, very positive. But there was this like, I don't know how I feel about it. About, um, but very positive. So watch those and let me know, okay? What's going on for you. But let's see what's coming up for Pisces placements at the time they watch this video. Thank you all so, so much for your likes, your shares of the videos, your comments and your feedback. I love connecting with you all. And thank you for subscribing. We're almost, almost at 5,000. Not quite there when I'm recording this, but hopefully throughout the day we'll be at 5,000 and I'll get to be on camera for you guys tomorrow if we get to 5,000 to say hi on camera to celebrate the milestone. All right, so let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time they watch this video. Pisces placements. Okay, bear with, these are a bit larger than life, <laughs> but they're really, really pretty and I like them. So hopefully you like them too. The deck is Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. Okay. Oh, sorry, that was loud. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Earth, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Talking about your st security, your stability, your long-term goals, some sort of completion, maturity, level, reached type of situation with the King showing up. Uh, it could be dealing with an Earth sign for better or for worse. The focus could be on your, your security, your stability, your, your health, that could be your health, or your finances. Okay, let's see. Current situation, we have the Six of Air, Six of Swords. Coming out of a difficult time, finding peace and balance after a challenge, after a difficult time. For some of you, you may be walking away from an earth sign, releasing an earth sign, or going towards one, depends on where you are, okay, what you're dealing with. Um, but you're leaving something behind, the bottom line is moving towards something that you have more hope about travel could be significant yeah look in the challenge position we have the fool the dreamer in this deck i feel like there's a you want a new beginning or you want a fresh start or you want a clear slate okay and it's showing up as a challenge because I feel like you'd have to leave something behind in order to pursue this, which that makes sense, right? But what you're leaving behind gives you a sense of security, gives you a sense of stability. What you would be starting over or starting with, with the fool, is brand new. It feels like a challenge in that it feels like you're taking a risk, okay? Because again, you're leaving something behind that you're familiar with and you get a sense of comfort from that. With the fool, you'd be starting over from scratch. And unless we're in that place where we are unattached, okay, to an outcome, to a thing, to a person. We do struggle to act on the energy of the fool because we see it as much more of a risk than what it usually is, okay? So, for example, when we're unattached, we're open to new things, new people, new ideas, and we're presented with something brand new and different, our mindset could be, oh, cool, this is different, this is exciting, let me know more about it, right? But if we're attached to something and we're feeling comfortable with that, it's not saying that it's the greatest thing, but we're feeling comfortable because we know what it is and we can predict it, right? 
something completely unscripted being offered to us is going to put us in a guarded position. It's going to put us in a, wait a minute, what are you talking about? I know all about this. That gives me a sense of comfort and security. What you're talking about, I have no idea about, but I'm iffy about it, right? Comparing it to this, that gives me a sense of stability. So I feel like for some of you, that's, that's a dynamic that's going on. King of Swords in the Foundation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So a King of Swords could be offering you a new beginning. And again, it's very different than what you're used to, what you're familiar with. In the recent past, we have the Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, yeah, you have walked away from someone or a commitment or a long-term um, commitment, whether that's relationship or work dynamic or a routine you had set with your, fr your friends, your family. This is a card of independence, of being on your own, doing things on your own. So I really feel like you walked away from something or someone, whether it was in preparation to start over somewhere else or you're just focused on yourself and now something else is offered to you, it, it depends. On the mind, we have the Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles. Now this talks about growth and coming into your own. You have the Nine of Earth in your past, the Queen of Earth on the mind. So these are lesser energies of the Empress. So you have the energy of the Empress. Next one down is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Next one down is the Nine of Pentacles. It's the same energy, just different levels, right? But also talks about our long-term goals. Um, it's also an energy that is independent and self-sufficient, okay? But there's also a couple dynamic here with someone stepping away from something. So let's see what's going on today. We have the Knight of Wands, something charging in. We have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is kind of being stuck in our head, overthinking things, fearing worst case scenarios, okay, um, to the point where I don't know what could happen if I do this, so I'm just not going to do anything. That's the Eight of Swords, okay? I can't do this because I don't know what's going to happen. It comes from a place of self-doubt, right? And lack of confidence. And with the Page of Air, there's some sort of truth being spoken, some sort of clarification. Um, I feel like the feeling that I'm getting here, Pisces, is someone's charging ahead towards you, okay? Towards a new start with the Fool. And... They're met with a very guarded attitude from you with the Eight of Swords. Nope, not interested. Nope, stay away. And that leads to Page of Swords. Okay, what's going on? Let me help me understand what what your doubts are coming, where your doubts are coming from. Help me understand your mindset. Help me understand why you're so guarded against this. Because this is someone who sees a new beginning with you and they're very interested in that, okay? And this could represent a job change that's being offered to you, a relationship change, right? So if you've been single, this is someone really pursuing you now because they could really see a future with you or they're really interested in getting to know you. And they don't quite understand why the hesitation, okay? on your part. This could all be vice versa, so just keep them in mind. And I feel like it leads to some very honest conversations. For some of you, I feel like what gives you pause is you're not sure of someone's status. As far as you know, this is someone who is in a, in a connection, in a relationship, already dealing with a contract, okay? So in other words, what it is that you're, what it is that they're trying to offer you in your mind they sh they don't have to offer, right? They shouldn't be offering you that. So you're unclear on the status of that job offer that they're talking about, that relationship that they're offering you, asking you out, etc. Um, because with the King of Swords and the Foundation, you're saying, I'm going to do the right thing here. I don't know what you're doing, but it doesn't feel like that's the right thing. And not with the information I have, right? So... It leads to not necessarily being frozen in fear, but it's like, I'm not sure what's going on here, so I'm just not gonna get involved. Um, but then with the Page of Swords, I really feel like this person, they they are coming from a, a place of dignity and integrity. So they're like, help me understand what your fear is. Help me understand what your hesitation is. Because they're interested in clarifying things with you. 
And you can say, well, I thought you were dating someone, right? And they go, no, that ended. I'm single, right? And then you're on the same page. Or, oh, I thought you were interested in a new job and you're saying, no, I'm, I'm not really, I'm happy where I am. And they go, oh, okay, thanks for clarifying, right? Or I thought you didn't like your job and I thought I was doing you a favor offering you this role. And then you can go, well, it's not that I don't like it necessarily, I have my issues with it. Um, clarifying, you know, but you can tell me more about this job then. If you're, once you're sure that it's coming from a clear place and a place of integrity, then you can say, tell me more about it. And, and then I can make my decision, right? But yeah, I feel like, I feel like something's coming at you very fast. And it's something where there's a miscommunication. They have information you don't. And so they're very confident in offering you something, whoever they may be. Whereas you are saying, why are you talking to me about this? Why are you flirting with me? Why are you asking me out? Why are you offering me jobs? Why are you offering me, you know, this type of opportunity here? Because I thought you were involved in that. I thought you were dating such and such. I thought this wasn't available. I thought, you know. But with the Page of Swords, communicate, be honest, okay? So let's see, let's get more cards out here. There is some sort of forward movement with the Six of Swords. It's something that has been slow to develop, okay? The Six of Swords, that's, that's a boat that doesn't really have a, a motor on it. So it's going to move slow. It's going to move uh, as the wind goes, right? Whereas the King of Wands is literally running at you, right? So I feel like somewhere in between the speeds shifting, I feel like that's what gives you pause, you know? This is something I haven't seen anything happen, I haven't heard anything about this in forever, and now all of a sudden it's here and it's, I'm being chased here. I'm not sure what's going on. Like, I think I'm missing some information. So let's see. Six of Swords in the current situation, Five of Pentacles. See, this is what I mean. Someone has left something behind. There has been a lack. There has been a walking away from something. Harvey and Charlie. Charlie. No, no. We're not doing that today. Mommy. Seriously. Seriously. Give me strength. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um... I'm just so tired, and I just do not have the energy right now to be dealing with shenanigans, Charlie. I'm looking at you. Uh huh. Okay. But yeah, someone has walked away from something, someone has released something. Um, with the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so there has been a breakup, you just don't know about it. There has been, you know, someone lost their job but you don't know that that role is now open, right? Something along those lines. So let's see, the full in the challenge position, six of pentacles. Yeah, someone see, sees a future with you, someone um, is also being very generous with you. I get the sense of someone trying to gift you something, offer you something that in their mind is very beneficial for you it would cover some sort of lack you're experiencing and they don't understand why you're pausing about it or why you're rejecting it or pushing it away or being very unsure about it it ties in a little bit with the work related reading i did and the love reading i did recently okay so we're picking up on the same energies because in this person's mind whatever they're offering you is going to help you should make you happy it's going to cover um a, a lack in your life so they're like oh they're they're not happy with the salary they're on I'm gonna offer them this job they'll be absolutely ecstatic about it and you're going why are you offering me jobs like what is this and so that confuses them because it's like well I thought you'd be happy like right or this is someone who they see a future with you um, there might have been some distance between the two of you or, or they know that you've gone through a lot or they know you've been healing and recovering from some things 
they in their mind they know you'd be open to new a new relationship right because you've been on your own for quite some time so in their mind this is an energy of charity and benevolence where it's like i'm gonna ask pisces out we want the same thing this is gonna be great right and then you're going why are you asking me out and they're going i thought you were open to this and you're saying open to dating someone who's already dating someone and they're like oh no wait no i'm not dating anyone anymore right so it's that kind of a conversation that I'm seeing today. King of Swords and the Foundation. What gives you pause is you're not sure that what is offered to you is correct, accurate, ethical, legal, and you're in your integrity. That's what is, is up, okay? Ace of Pentacles and the Foundation. Yeah, something's being offered to you, something solid with the Ace of Pentacles, with a lot of potential. Someone's talking to you about, you know, let's build this, let's work on this, let's develop this, let's create that. Plant seeds together, put down roots together, or you know what I mean? And you're looking at it like, I'm not sure this is right. Like, I'm not sure this is ethical. Because you're missing some information. Okay? Nine of Pentacles in the recent past, the Four of Swords. Someone has walked away from something. Someone has been healing from something. I think you just don't know about it. Someone has been recovering from something. You just don't know about it. There has been a separation. There has been a breakup. There has been a clearing up and clearing out. Okay? I just think you don't know about it. Queen of Pentacles on the mind. Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone could have had a choice to make. Again, they left someone behind to come to you or they chose between two different offers or opportunities or resumes. Eight of Cups. There has been a walking away. There has been a separation. There has been a breakup. There has been a divorce. There has been someone lost their job and now that job's available. You just don't know what happened. Or they fired someone and you don't know the ins and out, uh, outs of that situation. As far as you know, there's someone already in that job. So I'm like, I'm not about to go pursuing someone else's job. That's not right. I'm not going to do that. Right? And then they go, no, no, they're not in the role anymore. It's, it's a free role. It's an open role. Because I do see that kind of conversation, right? Or the advice is, don't just say no ask questions ask like why are you offering me this why are you talking to me about this i'm a little confused because as far as i know this was the situation and then they can go well no actually that has changed okay because if you just say no and push it away they might not you know pursue to clarify things with you they might just go feel rejected and go oh okay sorry my bad okay so the advice here is speak up ask your questions clarify talk about your doubts Okay, so let's see. Where is this going? Knight of Swords, Eight of Sorry, Knight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay, Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is talking about an ending that has happened. Clarifying, clearing the air with the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords, and then kind of slowing down that offer. Okay, going from the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Cups. Okay, now I'm open to it. Now you can tell me more about it because it doesn't feel like I'm being chased and pursued to do something that I don't think is right. Okay, that initial like, like instantly makes me defensive, right? Because this is like, what happened? They're talking about an ending. You're clar clarifying, you're clearing the air about an ending. And then that offer that they're making you is a bit, not necessarily slower but it can flow a bit better okay because what puts someone's back up initially is they feel they're being chased pursued and rushed to agree to something to sign up for something that they know is someone else's they be that belongs to someone else why are you offering me this what are you trying to get me involved in here right so that is what initially puts someone's back up okay it could be you it could be someone you're talking to and so the advice is clarify things, ask questions, page of swords. Don't be afraid to ask the difficult questions. Don't be afraid to call a spade a spade. Don't be afraid to ask this person, like, why are you flirting with me? I thought you had a girlfriend or a boyfriend, okay? 
And then they go, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah, I should have started with that. I, I'm, I'm single, nine of pentacles, ten of swords. And it's not happening. That's not happening anymore. That's done. And I really want to date you. I really want to be with you. I'm really interested in you, right? And then you have that heart to heart. Okay, now I see. All right. Okay, yeah, tell me more about it, you know? Where's it going to go for Pisces? The Empress, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. It's going to lead the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah. New love, growth, expansion, better job, more money. You accepting the offer, whatever it is that they're offering you. And you starting to build something with another person. Okay. If this is job, which for a lot of you, it is job related. This is joining a new team, learning how they do things, reviewing paperwork, signing paperwork, yes, but then it's like, it's on the job training, right? But it's a, it's a higher level of role, responsibility, the type of work you do, and money, perks, and benefits. It's just a higher level. If this is in love life, it's someone who's very down to earth, very grounded, very giving. Charlie, don't make me get up very giving, very nurturing. They could um, be a mother already or they express something to do with wanting to be a mother or a parent, okay? This could be blending families for some of you with the Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Empress. But the bottom line is you're starting to build something that has a lot of potential. It's very stable. Um, it has healthy growth ahead of it. It's Venus energy. It's love. It's money. Abundance. Good health. Charlie, can we not? Charlie, give me strength. I can't. We're going to finish this reading and then I'm going to go have a conversation. <laughs> give me strength. Okay. Under the King of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, the Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, another four, and the King of Water. Someone has previously been in a different situation where it had been stuck or stagnant or stale with all the fours and they were not happy, they were dissatisfied, they may have stayed for the security, okay? Again, it's the, the message we got initially, right? Or this could be you where your, your tendency is to stay in a current contract or commitment because of the security. You're not exactly happy, but it, it's what you know or it pays the bills, you know, it's familiar, it's, you know. And so when the emperor is trying to talk to you about a new beginning, right? You're saying, what are you talking about? I'm already in something else. Why are you hitting on me, right? Or I already have a job. Why are you offering me this job? Are you under the impression that I'm looking for work? Like, right? what, what is going on? But at the same time, if you don't express clarity, if that makes sense, they can go, oh, sorry, my bad, I misunderstood, and they move on, and it could be a missed opportunity, right? I also see someone got out of something. I see that very clearly if that is a doubt on your mind. Whatever it is that they're offering you, they are free to offer you, okay? It is not something that is illegal or unethical or immoral. Unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. 34. This is like the Venus energy, the Empress energy. Someone's trying to offer you some form of unity. Whether it's work-related, romantic. This could be someone talking to you about starting a business together. And you're like, I thought you were doing that with someone else. I'm not, I don't know what's happening here, but I don't want to get involved. It sounds iffy to me, so, you know. The fool, again, have the courage to embrace change, take risks, and be adventurous. One more. For Pisces. Abundance, number one. Yeah. Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and prosperity. Number one, a fresh start, new beginning. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. So someone is trying to, someone is rushing in 
and trying to rush you, that's what it feels like, into a new commitment, unity, right? Agreeing to something, joining forces with something, whether it's someone asking you out, whether it's someone offering you some sort of opportunity, role, money-making opportunity. As far as you know, there's already someone else in that role that they're talking about. There's already someone else in their life. They're already in a relationship with someone else. That's what you know. And they may have been because that's when you know that, right? Um, someone else is doing that job. You might know that person. You might be friends with that person. So you're like, I'm not going to take my friend's job. What are you talking about? Because there's that kind of aspect to it, right? That's not. That's just wrong. It might not necessarily be illegal, but it's it's un, it's unethical. It's immoral. I'm not going to do that. I have loyalty to to my friends, or I I'm not going to get involved in that type of situation where I'm actively pursuing something that belongs to someone else, right? That's how you feel about it. Uh, someone's saying, "Hey, you want to go on this trip with me?" And you're saying, "I thought you were going with such and such." I don't want to get involved in that. That's not that's not fair, you know. You told them you're taking them and now you're offering it to me. That's not fair. You need to figure that out. And they go, oh, no, no, that fell through, you know. Or something like clarity has to be expressed here. Because if we just say no and we don't give a reason and we don't talk about why, for some, this person will ask why. But for others, they may not. And it will turn into a missed opportunity because of miscommunication and just not being on the same page. Okay, because something has happened, a change has happened that you're not aware of. Okay, it wasn't spoken about, it wasn't communicated. So if someone was fired and exited from the company, it was done in a very silent, confidential way. But as far as you know, that that's that person's job still, right? So you're like, why are you offering me such and such's job? That's wrong. I don't want to do that. I'm not, you know. It's not, again, it's not necessarily something illegal. But it doesn't feel right to you. It doesn't sit well with you. You're like, I'm not going to get someone fired, get someone kicked out of their job so I can have it. That's wrong, okay? Uh, or I'm not going to agree to date you when I know you're dating someone else. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, I'm not even going to entertain you flirting with me when I know for a fact that you're with someone else. What are you doing, right? So don't be afraid. You don't have to get confrontational necessarily. But the page of swords is like, what is happening here? This is what I know. What are you doing, right? But then that can lead to them clearing the air with you, okay? Seven of, sword, seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords to where then you can have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Then you're on the same page. You know what they know. They know what you know. And then it's like, okay, we can talk from here, you know? And it leads to growth, development, coming together, forming that partnership bond, uni, unity, accepting that role, that job, signing up for whatever it is they're offering you, right? Accepting an offer, okay? That leads to a lot of growth. Leveling up in terms of type of relationship, type of role, money, clout, your reputation, all of the above, right? Okay, interesting, interesting reading today. So let's do your fortune cookie card. So that could be a message that, you know, aligns with the reading, gives you more depth, okay, in terms of the reading, or it could be a standalone message that will help you through your day. You can set the intention to receive messages from one card, two, or all three. And again, just keep an open mind in how you apply the messages. Okay. Okay, for everyone, we have health, an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. So that's just a standalone message for everyone. Okay, let's see. One, two, or three fortune cookie messages for Pisces. All right, if you chose number one. We have jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to re reconnect and replenish. Something needs to be clarified, okay? Because again, I feel like if it's in line with the reading, this is that energy of, I think that belongs to someone else. Why are you offering it to me? That's wrong, okay? But it's also clarified. Talk about it. And as a standalone message, yeah, be careful who you trust at this time with your secrets and your plans. They might go blabbing. They might go t telling everybody. 
or telling someone that uh, you don't want them to know, okay? Just be cautious. If you chose number two, we have challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts to approach, sorry. Oh my God, I can't think today. Challenges, take time out for, from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. worse. Oh my God, I can't talk. Yeah, so either take time away from the problems or approach them softly so that you don't make it worse. Okay, so there might be some sort of chaos, tension, conflict today. If it's in line with the reading, for example, it's that moment of what are you doing right now? Like, what are you doing? Why are you chasing and pursuing me to take something that I know is wrong and you shouldn't be offering it me, right? If we go to war with that person and we start calling them names, we might make matters worse. But if we go, hold on, there's a there's some going on here that I'm not sure what it is, because as far as I know, someone else has that job. What are you offering it to me for? Right? That's wrong. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm not gonna take someone's job from them. I'm not gonna take someone's partner from them, right? I'm unclear on what's going on here. But we don't necessarily go on a rampage about it. That'll be like a softer approach, right? Just an example. And if you chose number three, we have surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Yep. And again, if it's a standalone message, it's a standalone message, but if it's tied to the reading, the disappointment is what the hell is this person doing? That is something I want, but why are they offering it to me this way? Why are they, you know, why is this approached in this way? Like that's not, I want it, but I'm, I'm not willing to do what they're asking me to do to get it. You know, so you're disappointed. But then it's like you're clarifying things and it's like, oh, pleasant surprise. Oh, I didn't know that had happened. I didn't know that was the case. I didn't know that's the situation. Okay. And then it's leading to the acceptance of that invitation or that offer or whatever it is. Okay, Pisces, interesting reading. Let me know how you resonate with the, the messages, where they apply for you. Again, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your comments. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully, uh, in the next video, you'll see me on camera if we reach 5,000 subscribers by then. Um, and thank you all so, so much. Um, but yeah, interesting reading. Let's see how the day unfolds. And uh, check out your other readings. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.